Hyatt's right here. There's the line, hip line to hip line. There it is. This is high right here, hip line to hip line. 12 rounds, the WBO final eliminator. Touch him up. Good luck, when it's worth it. But because of that X factor that he's always had in his game, the question is, does he still have it, or did Provodnikov beat it out of him? Mike Alvarado, a fight of the year candidate. Is there pressure on him to, to try to get a win? Good right hand by Marquez. Left. Right hand. Or excuse me, Alvarado can't go round after round throwing. Not right hand by Marquez. Point Alvarado may decide that the inside is actually. Oh, good answer. No. He needs to be trying to push this into the later rounds and see if he can catch Marquez with a big shot. Hurt Marquez possibly. in the way he chooses to attack. Good hard right hand by Al uh, Mar Marquez. <laughs> Russell is close though. Right. Only intermittently eager to get inside and fight with Juan Manuel Marquez. Backing up much of the time and allowing Marquez to fight at whatever distance he wants to use. Like that. The memory of Pacquiao getting put to sleep with one shot by Marquez is still fresh in people's minds. And I now, but you also can feel the power. Hard, fighting competitively, trying to stay with him, landing some good shots here and there. He should lose fighting the way he's fought to get him here. That's and now he's starting to do that. Another brilliant combination by Marquez. The quick valleys tomorrow and join the Romans and Jim. Because oh, good uppercut. Good combination by Marquez. This is where Alvarado's dangerous when he starts to get lit up. The timing is good. The strength is there. The athletic skill remains. And he knows how to fight. As much as anyone alive. He knows is a resourceful fighter. But things have changed oh. in recent years for Marquez. Now he has that kind of power. And Pat Russell is counting. And Alvarado's reaching for the rope. He's going to get up. Hey, come here, Mike. Mike, come here. No. A tremendous counter shot by Juan Manuel Marquez. Put Alvarado down. Fall. He throws the jab, came right on the top with a right hand, beat Mike Alvarado to the punch. Mike was trying to throw a right hand too, and his counter was just a little too late. Right there, you see him going, trying to throw the right hand, but Marquez with the experience stays low and delivers the punch punch. Oh, there goes Marquez! And that's Mike Alvarado! That's what got him here! <laughs> On the attack, he gets caught with a good counter right hand by Marquez, but he stays with it, goes right of his own over the top, followed by hook, and that right hand right there landed it right on the button and set Marquez down. Once again, that right hand right there caught Marquez trying to throw it up, and he beat Marquez to the punch. And now Marquez wants to get it back. Bad is swelling up on him now. Oh, oh my God. When he feels he's in danger, that's when it comes out of him. Right there. Left hook by Marquez. Chopping right hand. Like a double hook. An uppercut hook, it looks like. Yeah. Today. Very good combination. Oh. Oh, left, left uppercut for Marquez. Oh. Oh. That uppercut. Pat Russell say. He's seen Mike Everardo land a right hand, right on the button. 
And Marquez almost went down, but nothing touched the canvas. Corrado waiting too much. Way too much. Didn't take command enough in the last two rounds to give himself the opportunity for the knockout he needed oh. to beat Juan Manuel Marquez. But what a fight. What a fight. Scorecards to the winner by unanimous decision as we turn the page to another chapter in the story of a boxing legend from Mexico.